Hello, my dear wanderers, and welcome to the wonderful World Kids Podcast. I love eating sweets, and so I'm super excited for today's sweet episode. Now, even though I love sweets, modern science tells us that we should eat less sugar. So I am always in search of healthier alternatives to sugar. such as the food we are talking about today this food can be drizzled on oatmeal spread on toast or can be added to a smoothie it is a food produced by insects and eaten by humans and some other animals as well so what food are we talking about today today we are talking about honey honey is a thick and sticky liquid made by honey bees it is 80% sugar and 20% water it is the first sweetener discovered by humans in ancient times a cave painting found in spain shows a hunter harvesting honey from a wild bee's nest and the painting is nearly 8 to 10000 years old and that shows us how old the use of honey is so why do honey bees make honey honey bees make honey because they rely on honey as their food during winter months when there are very few flowers outside also they use honey to make bee bread which is a food for baby honey bees it takes a great effort and hard work from bees to make the honey we enjoy in its whole life a single bee only produces about 1 and 1/2 teaspoons of honey and to make 1 pound of honey hundreds of bees have to visit close to 2 million flowers there are different types of honey such as manuka honey buckwheat honey and many more these different types have different colors and flavors the color of honey ranges from nearly colorless to dark brown and its flavor varies from very mild to distinctively strong this flavor and color is determined by the flowers from which the nectar was gathered as a general rule light colored honey is milder in taste and dark colored honey is stronger so how do honey bees make honey the process of making honey begins by collecting nectar first the worker bees who are also known as forager bees visit flowers containing nectar Nectar is a sugary water produced by the flowers to attract pollinators. Then with the help of their hollow straw-like tongue called proboscis, they suck up the nectar from the flower and store it into their honey stomach. And why are we calling it honey stomach? That is because honey bees have two stomachs, one for eating and another for storing nectar. Inside that honey stomach is a special liquid called digestive enzyme which starts breaking the nectar and converting it into honey but a single bee can't turn nectar into honey all by herself she needs a bit of help so once the worker honey bees return to the hive they regurgitate the nectar into a processor honey bee's mouth regurgitation is the process of bringing swallowed food back to the mouth so in simple terms what honey bees are doing is that they are vomiting the nectar into the mouth of other honey bees these honey bees will further vomit the partially digested nectar into the mouth of other honey bees and the chain of vomiting continues until most of the nectar turns into simple sugar now even though it sounds yucky this is an important step in the process of making honey because every time the nectar goes into the honey stomach of another bee it mixes with those digestive enzymes this helps to break down the nectar and convert it into honey the last bee in the chain chucks out what is now a sticky sweet liquid into one of the hexagonal shaped holes in the honeycomb but the honey isn't quite ready yet 
it is still pretty watery. So to get rid of most of the water, the smart bees flap their wings, which evaporates the water, leaving only sweet, sticky liquid that we know as honey. And the very last thing the bees do is seal off the cell by creating a wax lid. This keeps the honey safe until it is ready to be consumed. Now let's see how do beekeepers harvest honey. Beekeepers maintain a honey farm called an apiary. An apiary is a collection of beehives. Each beehive is contained inside a box. Each of these boxes contains some wooden or plastic frames on which the honeybees build wax and deposit their honey. When the honey is ready to be harvested, the beekeepers pull out the frames and scrape off the wax caps made by the bees. Once the caps are removed, the frames are placed in an extractor which spins the frames and forces the honey out of the holes in the frames. After the honey has been extracted from the frames, it goes through a series of filters. This ensures that no impurities such as beeswax end up in the honey. And now, our honey is ready to be consumed. This is raw honey and we can either eat it in its raw form or the honey may be pasteurized. During pasteurization, honey is heated at high temperature. This makes the honey nice and smooth and slows down its crystallization. Because of its low water content and acidic nature, honey is not a very inviting place for bacteria. And so, if placed in an airtight jar, honey has an incredibly long shelf life. There are even reports of edible honey being found in several thousand year old Egyptian tombs. Honey is a precious gift of nature. It is a natural sweetener full of vitamins and minerals. And so, it is a great alternative to the processed white sugar. Honey also has many antibacterial and healing properties. It is used to treat cough, cold and sore throat. It helps in healing burns and wounds. Honey is also used in many cosmetic products because it can moisturize your skin and keep it glowing and healthy. But it is important to remember that honey is packed with sugar. So, it should always be consumed in moderation. Doctors recommend that it should not be given to kids under one year of age. And that brings us to the end of today's sweet episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Would you like to give us some feedback about our podcast? We are always looking for ways to make our podcast better and better. So reach out to us. Our email address is wonderfulworld.kids at gmail.com In our next episode, we are going to talk about, well, everything around you that you can see and touch. And are you wondering, how are we planning to talk about so many things in just one episode? Tune in next time to find out. And if you think you have understood our next week's topic, please write to us at wonderfulworld.kids at gmail.com and let us know what you think is the topic. Our email address is also mentioned in our show notes. This was episode number 4 where we spoke about honey. Thank you for listening. See you next week. And until then, keep on wondering.